In the early 1900s, a man named Demetrius Lachis came to the United States from Greece. He started uh, a business in the area selling fruit from a push cart. He and his family prospered, and they really just lived the American dream. So at one point, uh, Demetrius' sons decided that they wanted to just really make a statement about their success in this new world which had treated them so well. So they decided on the corner of Flat and Main Streets in Brattleboro, Vermont, they would um, build this beautiful building. So it has a hotel and it has a theater and it has some storefronts and the family owned the place until 2003 when Latches Arts came along and bought it. The ultimate goal was to hold it for the community. So in August of 2011, things were perking along. The community was supporting us in every way. And then we decided it was time to actually do some renovations in the main theater. The seats were 75 years old, and the beautiful zodiac ceiling um, was showing a lot of wear and tear. And we were planning to launch this big campaign. And then came uh, Tropical Storm Irene. About eight or nine feet of water flooded our basement, and the building just had to be evacuated. We lost a tremendous amount of business, not only in the theater, but in the hotel, because it was just on the cusp of foliage season, and we lost all that foliage business. So it was a pretty challenging time for us, for the town, for the whole region. So because of that, the campaign committee decided it was certainly not the time to start talking about the seats in the ceiling. Too many other really important human needs that needed to be addressed. So we suspended the campaign and we got ourselves up and running. And then we took another deep breath and decided in January of 2012 that um, we could start to plan this campaign. It was the campaign for the heavens and the earth. So up there in the heavens, we had some uh, historic preservationists catalog what was up there so we could replace it. And uh, by that time, the seats were uh, ready to be reinstalled on the earth. We did carpet, we did aisle lighting, we lit the murals. We have beautiful, historic, hand-painted murals. We restored colored lights into uh, the original light boxes. They used to control the different colors of the lights from the light board backstage during the silent movies. Historic theaters in the 30s often had magical, sort of heroic decor. And what is more magical and heroic than mythology? So many of them do reflect uh, Greek or Roman mythology. Ours is Greek because the family was Greek. But in the Art Deco style, which actually is called Greco Deco. This recent renovation cost $550,000. We're not quite there yet, but we're really, really close. And most of that came from the community. We have one program where if you pay a certain amount of money, we put a little brass plate on the armchair and $143,000 worth of those brass plaques are now installed on the seats. Uh, of course, we are a movie theater first and foremost, but what, it, what we also have is a hotel. We have a, a program called Book a Room at the Latches, and that's for local artists. And in most of our hotel rooms, we have the artwork of local artists hanging on the walls. When we first started this, not many people were really interested in buying a movie theater. They were interested in a center for the arts. And we have visual art here, we have performance art, we have music and dance and the choruses and cinematic art here. And it just, every bit of that speaks to somebody in this community. There's no part of this community that we can't touch. And we take that very seriously. 